All right, so we're up against Aerith. They are on Stone Scar Burn. This is a good card in this matchup. This is a decent card in this matchup. I don't like Scheme in my opening hand, but I like that this is four power with stuff to do, and at least we're on the play. I really hate to annihilate a Pyro Knight or an Oni Ronin when I know I have so many other answers to it, but they might not even have a hand with Oni Ronin or Pyro Knight, so... I think it's a little risky to ship something like this, even though it's got, like, a subpar card. Uh, Annihilate and Westwind Herald are nice in this matchup and on the play. All right, so ideally we rip... We don't. One of our really good, like, we have four Snowballs and four Varus Favors in the deck. Well, eh, I think I'm going to take two here. Every point hurts. Uh, I realize that we're against Burn. But if they if they play, uh, if they play Argent Port Instigator here, I'd rather kill that with Annihilate. I think it's just important. I think it's just more important. Another Oni Ronin? Oh, God. Oh, God. Bear saver one time. Nope. All right. Well, they have the draw that we're built to beat, and we're not going to beat it. <laughs> we're not going to beat it. Oh, man. All right, we'll take another feeding time. Jeez. Like, our whole deck is Bear's favors and snowballs and lightning storms, and they're just going to... Beat us to death with an Oni Ronin. I'm going to use Feeding Time here. As much of a bummer as it is. I, I think I just need to not take too much damage from that. Uh, we're going to establish our Westwind Herald and we'll have two more Feeding Times lined up. It means we're going to take a pretty hard hit from like if they've got a 5-5 five five Flyer here. Uh, I think we're just going to have to accept that. I think we're just going to have to accept that that's what's going to happen here. We win by them hopefully having another unit here. And I get to feeding time one, then feeding time the other, then unstable form this into a real threat. And something happens. They're just going to double suffocate it. Brutal. Alright. I still have to take that line and just hope it lives. Uh, wow, they're packing suffocates in their deck? Their Oni Ronin? Probably going to unstable that. They have one card left in hand. This will generally downgrade it. Traditionally it has. Yeah, I think that counts. No real reason to play this sigil. Eh, we have wisdoms. So yeah, let's play it. You can't unstable there because it costs zero still. It would have just turned into a one drop, which are pretty bad. Which are pretty bad. Um, they know we have another unstable in hand, but we're taking one less damage here. That's, that adds up over a bunch of turns. Now, if they play something like Umbran Reaper, what do I do here? Steward. Oh, boy. We're not going to win with a 3-3 in play. We're not going to win with a 3-3 in play. I think we try and hit something like Curiox or Roland's Honor Guard. I think we got to upgrade this. Dormant Sentinel. Not what quite what we're looking for. Pillar of Amar would have been good. Pillar of Amar would have been good. At least it's a 7-7. Seven seven. It can block this 2-2. Two two. Not super great. Not super great. Not the worst hit in the world. But far from the best. It is an upgrade. It did get upgraded. Oh, God. This game is officially over. This game is over. Basically, we had... We drew zero Vera's Favor and Snowballs for their Pyro Knight double Oni Ronin draw. It's not how you win a game. And they're, they've been on five power just drawing nothing but spells. Yeah, that's how you lose to burn, right? That's, that's a good... It's a good recipe to lose to burn. All right, we're in the hole. Not too surprising. Not too surprising, but sad. That, that was just not a great draw. <laughs> they didn't have a great draw either. Like, they had a draw that was beatable for us, but we didn't have the right draw to beat it. 
All right, so we were starting to work on our sideboard. We're keeping in all the various favors and snowballs. I don't know if they're taking out the Oni Ronins and Pyro Knights. I don't know. I don't think Burn's that flexible to really be able to do that. Their sideboard is just more Umbran Reapers, Treachery, Suffocates, Annihilates, Furnace Mage, Plague, Steward. Like, they're not bringing in Furnace Mage. They're not bringing in Plague. I guess the Mist is fragile, but brings two bodies, but it's real slow. So is Westman Herald, but I think it's our best out to winning. Withering Witch. How good is it here? A lot of their stuff's already really tiny. It's a good blocker. Can actually trade with Champion of Chaos. Like, would I rather have Withering Witch or Magus of the Mist? That's an interesting question. The Northwind Herald, I think we just need. Strength of the Pack is a nice win con, but I think it's too slow. I think we'll just have to get there with other stuff. Like Subvert. <laughs> I think we have to get there with Subvert. Yeah, I think we cut Witches here. Is Magus of the Mist better than Witch? Scheme is really slow. I think we still need the Wisdoms, but Scheme might be too slow. Sabos are great. Suffocates are great. God, we didn't draw any Sabotages either. We need all the Annihilates. We need the Backlash. The Lightning Storms are good, but if we cut the Witches, they get worse. The Lightning Storm still kills a lot of relevant things. Uh, Soulfire Drake, Ubrin Reaper, Pyro Knight, Onui Ronin... All it doesn't kill is Instigator, but we still kill Instigator with Storm Plus. I think we cut the Lightning Strikes. They're just going to be hard to leave up. They're okay against aggressive decks, but I don't like that they're so reactive. Like, we have to cut a lot of stuff still. These are very risky. How much fast removal do I have? Three Annihilates and four Torches. But that's it? Maybe we do like a split. Four subverts is probably too much. We'll just hedge on three. I am going to cut the schemes. What are our other torch targets? Northwind Herald. We have subvert for torch. We have to cut three cards here. I think the Temple of Northwind Herald is important. The Jotun Hurlers are really good. I don't want to cut too many threats. But I want all this removal. The thing is you can have too much removal against... Like, Suffocates are pretty bad, actually. I think I'm actually going to cut these Suffocates. They only hit Steward of the Past. And, uh, no, they have Instigators. I'm okay with just Annihilate doing all that work. And Lightning Storm. But it costs one. Suffocate's so good. Alright. Let's do this. Suffocate whiffs a lot is the problem. It really only hits Instigator. And if they bring in Steward and Maidens, it hits those. All right, we'll hedge. I think they stay aggressive, though. Might be really hard to leave up Backlash. That's why we're going on Northwind Herald. These subverts might be too slow. But if I, ideally, if we draw, if we deal with the board, these subverts become very good. That might just be too... I don't know. I think we need to be ambitious in this matchup. It's just such a difficult matchup. Actually, I'm going to cut an unstable form. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, no. Mm, eh, mm, eh. Whatever. I don't know what the right build is. Let's go with this. I'm not going to look anymore. I'm not going to look anymore. Ideally, we somehow control the board early, have the mid-game to subvert, and figure it out from there. <laughs> Usually, Burn doesn't drop their board too quickly. But yeah, this is just such a rough matchup. I did not come prepared for this matchup. I was just hoping to just dodge it. I was just hoping to dodge Burn. Turns out there was a lot of Burn.
There were like nine burn decks today, so we weren't gonna dodge it all day. Sure. Um, do I turn one Sabo here? Yeah. That sucks. Um, we can strand Annihilate in their hand and eventually subvert it. That's kind of a lame plan, though. We'll just take it. We have lots of Annihilate targets. So all we know is that they have a Varus Favor in hand. I'm just going to Storm. I'm just going to do it. We have a Varus Favor in hand. Nothing. They didn't cast Varus Favor. Hmm. wonder why. We know they still have Varus Favor in hand. Northwind Herald, but we can't cast it. If I cast Varus Favor, I can still hold up Backlash. But this might be necessary to get out of Herald. Holding Varus Favor, so they have plenty of power. Varus Favor is an actual removal spell in this matchup because of Umbran Reapers. Ugh, if they draw... Man, if they just have nothing but Impending Dooms, we're just going to lose this game unless they draw Annihilate right here. Lightning Storm. It's no good. Let's see if we... And I took their Annihilate. Ugh, and Suffocate's dead too. Uh Well, we lose. <laughs> I have four Annihilates, but... And three Pig Strikes. Oh, God, but this actually got to connect, and they're just going to have more Impending Dooms? Oh, God. Oh, God, they just had the perfect draw against our hand. They're just so dead, and... Oh, no. <laughs> My God. Ah, they drew a suffocate. It sucks. Why couldn't I have taken this? Well, so this didn't go to script. <laughs> this did not go to script at all. Ah, so I need to try and... Ugh, we're just dead. Do I need to leave a backlash here? They still have a Varus Favor in hand. God, I should have taken the Varus Favor to make Subvert better. I need this Annihilate so badly. Alright, I'm gonna do this. And I hope we draw unstable form so that this becomes Roland's Honor Guard. I just have to hope this becomes like Roland's Honor Guard. <laughs> I wonder how Backlash interacts with that. Uh, they just had the God draw. They just had the God draw. There's just nothing we can do to win here. Yeah, that's that. That's the game. We're gonna get their Varus favor. Instigator. Oh, well. Wow, so they top decked Obliterate. Man, if our Subvert hit Obliterate or Annihilate or... Oh, we got unlucky on Subvert. Mostly because we're playing Subvert. The question becomes, did we sideboard incorrectly by bringing in Subvert? And I think the answer is no. Because let's check it out. What could we have played instead of Subvert, right? In that game, that would have been better. What would have actually been better? Right? What would have actually been better than Subvert that game? Out of these 90 cards that we didn't play, Azindel's Gift, nope. Celestial Omen, nope. Scheme, nada. Lightning Strike, garbage. Suffocates, bad, right? That's why I didn't really want to keep them. Uh, we had the four Annihilates. We just didn't draw them. 
Uh, Magus and Mist would have been garbage that game. Withering Witch we kept in. Feeding Times we kept in. Sabotage we kept in. Like, all of the cards that were better than Subvert, we correctly identified it's keeping in the deck. So I think Subvert was correct. 